So what is Namecoin? If you haven't heard, Namecoin is like the third largest cryptocurrency. So it is up there. It's behind Litecoin and of course behind Bitcoin. But Namecoin is an exact copy of the Bitcoin system. Besides one thing. Namecoin is crazy awesome in one invention. Now, so when you search the web, you type in Facebook.com and it scans its codex to a DNS, domain name system, and that's usually hosted at your ISP, and it sends back to your computer a you know, IP address, and then your computer uses that IP address to connect to a computer or to a server where the website is hosted. Well, that is a centralized DNS system. Namecoin came up with this ideology of saying, well, hey, Bitcoin took a centralized banking system and turned it into a decentralized banking system. Why can't we do that with DNS? So that's what they did. Now, what Namecoin did is it created the, the subnet or the um, subdomain called .bit. So like .com, .info, .co, you know, all of those, you got .bit. Now, the only problem with this is, of course, everything still uses computers, iPads, everything still uses a centralized DNS server. So you have to go through a proxy or a you know, VPN or some sort of system that proxies you through the current system into the .bit domain system. So that is its major disadvantage. Now there has been recent talks about OpenDNS taking the .bit subdomain and pushing it out. But what is so unique about Namecoin? Well, Namecoin is a domain name system. And that's what people don't get. And that's why the value of Namecoin is so high. Is the client, now the client, the GP, GUI client, isn't very advanced. I'll tell you, it's still in beta and the developers haven't worked too hard at it. But the idea behind it that instead of you know going through a third party to get your domains, just have it all set up on a client-based system, a decentralized system, and allow the user to not only tell her, you know, send the commands and everything just like a peer-to-peer -peer network system, but to also let you personally buy the .bit domain. Now there's a couple services out there that will let you, um, I forget the names of them, but the, they'll let you go out and they'll let you buy .bit domains without having to do all the technical stuff, which I love. I'm actually in the process right now of buying some of my own domains of .bit. But you might ask yourself, well, if no one can access them, what's the point? Here's my predictions. As Bitcoin grows bigger in the next few years, maybe give a five-year time period, Litecoin will grow up as well, but Namecoin will really skyrocket. Not because of all these ideologies of cryptocurrencies, but because it has the .bit domain. Now, first of all, .bit just sounds awesome, I mean, doesn't it? But the fact that someday, you know, if OpenDNS takes a part of it, I can almost assure you other open or, you know, source DNS programs will follow suit. The ones provided by AT&T, Roadrunner, and Comcast might not at first, but people start demanding it, they will. Now this might sound crazy, you might say, well that's not possible. It is. And I assure you, this is the future. They have a decentralized domain system. Now while it's not as secure, Namecoin is the first real invention to invent something that is decentralized. A decentralized domain name system. Pretty interesting. That's basically the essential of Namecoin. It's exactly a copy, or an exact copy of Bitcoin, and the whole Bitcoin idea, besides the fact that it has a DNS system built into it. Maybe Namecoin will fail, and it'll just be the idea of having a de decentralized name system, or maybe Namecoin will take off, and everybody might start switching to .bit domains. Who knows? Maybe someday you'll be checking me out on a .bit domain. Maybe not. We never really know, but it is an interesting cryptocurrency. It is the third largest, like I said. So it, it's something to follow. And it, it's a quite interesting domain. I don't know. The dot bit is an interesting domain. So thanks for watching.